back home. He's not needed up here. Like, he'd be great to rescue somebody, but I just, I don't need him that badly up here. Let's get up here. So, now I'm going to do the correct thing and go save as a raid. So, if shit hits a fan, I can essentially save it back. I'll also save the other Nido. They'll be the same. They'll be the exact same time spot, but I'll at least have, like, two versions of it to roll back to. Yeah. No, I appreciate that, Grim. Um, I just, yesterday I had uh, Monkey Lord clipped a couple of my videos on uh, Seven Days when I was, like, talking about this game that I used to run people over with. And, um, yeah, it tried to, like, spam them out, which was not cool. So, uh, Nightbot is definitely a learning curve, that's for sure. Uh, let's see, Tofu, get your butt up here. Now, we already know uh, somebody's going to have a psychotic break and run off mid-battle, aren't they? Let's see. Orders. We now know that this keeps going in. So let's do this. Okay. He's going to try to run off every single time, too. Ooh. Come on. Oh, it is the same. All right. Well, that's not too bad. Hey, somebody proposed while they were, like, standing there. So Damien told Orozoko that he wants to spend his life with her, and she agreed, and the two are engaged. That's cool. Another couple, another bed space saved. So that's another bed I don't have to make. Let's see, Tofu, you can get out here now and kind of need to wall you guys in. I've got it that the animals aren't going to move forward, but if they get closer, they'll cap their ass. It's already going a lot better. Nearly there. There we go. Okay. Very good. Hopefully save this. We still don't know what's going to happen when I open up these pods. We could get a couple of people that are really sick or, as Grim said, you know, if you've got bugs, you can potentially spawn others. So I'm hoping that this doesn't do anything special when I trigger it. So either way, I'm going to send in a couple of my main people who should be the fastest and quickest to tend to people if I've got to do something guys can head in and the rest of you should be able to go off duty at the moment do what you're doing and these i just need to enable that all right let's see what we've got in here it contains the unknown so let's open that and open that you guys i'll just keep a couple of people on guard but weeks you can be the one to open that and nasan you can open that All right, a person came out, and that one's dead. And what about the other one? Was it? Oh, lovely. They're both dead. I feel really sorry for them. That's sad. It's like we just had to deal with a battle and dead people. Now my people are unhappy because I had to see dead people. Oh, well, at least my animals will snack on it. Okay. That was a lot more disappointing than I thought it would be. Let's claim all this stuff. And I'll just, uh, I know I don't have to actually claim it to do that, but it's easier sometimes. Floors. And I better take down this roof. Otherwise they're just going to have it collapse on them because that's what they do. But now I can mine around here. Well, I mean, like how old is this guy? He's been dead for three and a half years. Um, uh, let's see, what's your logs and stuff? Uh, man, he was super immune. He was a wreckage survivor. He had a cracked jaw, and this guy was... Yeah, he's also been dead just as long. I feel like that's almost as long as my people have been on this map. I, I feel like if they had walked up here and opened this on the first day, yes, they would have been screwed over, but um, maybe these people would have been more alive, potentially even alive. And yeah, we could have done with a miner. All right, well, I'll leave them to do what they're doing. That was um, unfortunate. I was sort of hoping I could maybe, you know, steal another person, you know, inundate them to, like, you know, 
come in and join us. But I need blocks and stuff. And what I was thinking about doing is cutting down the size of this for the moment and just allowing it to kind of like storage up somewhere else. Yeah. So what I'm thinking... I should be able to take down some of the blocks on this side and let's see, copy oh. and expand that into here. I'll just expand it all into here and see how that goes. All right, paste that. I think it's all one circle. All right, so now I definitely don't have enough space for this, but we're going to, I'd say probably remove most of this zone to begin with. Let's see, see the age. There is an age they uh years total, the years in cryo. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Uh they're getting moved off at the moment. Let's see, they'll be over here. So was it bio health bio? Uh here. Okay, so they're in cryo for 108 years by the look of it. Um and this guy, 76 years. Hey, we have wolf. No, no, no. We don't keep wolves on the server. Uh, Kimmy is in a daze because she's a body purish. What is your problem? Did I give you... Uh, I get... You got a prosthetic leg. I don't think I gave you that. I don't have that technology yet. So, if you've got a beef with it, I mean... I can't give you your leg back. Not that I'm aware of. I think the healing mech serums do a bit of that, but to a degree. Alright. I'm gonna try to bring this down at least to here at the moment you know what i should use a freaking different material maybe like wood or something that i've got more plentiful give me a wooden wall and do this just to take this down a little bit and that way i can deconstruct all this wall and then i'll immediately have some marble in the meantime how are you doing chimpanzee you're building a fence okay i'll leave you for a second have you sent tofu in? What are you doing? Are hey, you hunting a temple wolf? You're probably bringing that into the food area somewhere. I'll see him come back in here in a moment. There he is. Uh, that wolf looks like that was from the other side of the map, but okay. Oh, doe self tamed. Yeah, we don't need does. But, you know, that's easy food. That's ex that's extra meat. I kind of love it when they, like, self-tame because I'm going to slaughter them. Um, there's no ifs and buts about it. Unless it's an animal I want to keep and want to spend the time taming, like, yeah, I'm going to slaughter it. I know that I could keep it and I could breed it and have, like, a lot of extra meat on hand and stuff, but um, it's kind of easier sometimes just to be like, okay, well... I'll just hunt whatever's available because the taming, I just don't have enough people now to deal with taming stuff. All right. I think I got rid of the storage area in here. No, nope, it's still there. So I should be getting rice and stuff taken over here, shouldn't I? Uh, raw food. Vegetarian. Yeah, rice should be going there. All right. I've also got this like light strobe going all the way up here that I need to change. You know what I should do? I should actually uninstall that for the steel. I know I made it, but I could really do with the steel more so than giving the animals light. God, I love that sound. They always sound like they're like surprised. I know, I'd be pretty surprised too if I was like, oh, I self-tamed, I want to join you people. And then you just walk straight up to the first person they slaughter you. What's this? That's a lamb. Alright. How are my animals going? Getting some tamed. We got a new panther named Robbie. That's awesome. An epic. We have an epic thrombo calf now. You, you, I just like imagining like rave music and like flashing lights and everything every time that thrombo walks around. That's exactly what's happening. Uh, we still got a couple of panthers. They're all males, so of course they're probably going to get slaughtered once they're an adult. I really need them to start producing some females so we can kind of amp up the, the group. Uh, I think that's probably enough thrombos for the moment. So, if that's the case, I might not train this one. It'll be spare and I can sell it. That's good money. And yeah, 
we still have cats and kittens and all sorts of stuff so that's very good very good all right oh yeah we have a quest to do as well I completely forgot about that quest uh the orange camp has um their their caravans keep getting raided and they're being guarded by like eight pirates so that's basically what they've got on offer for us is healing mech serum gold and camp loot um so let's have a look because i do want to send out a trade caravan that's kind of yeah that's close enough that i could do a trade immediately i could take wood from the site that's actually really good all right so we'll head over there. I'm probably going to need some good people, but at the same time, I don't want to leave just nobody in my base. So I'm going to take a couple of people that have got more spray and pray kind of guns um, with the hopes that maybe they'll actually, you know, hit some people. Let's see. I kind of want to do collateral damage where I can. Um, how many was that? That's three, four, five, six, seven... I need two more at least, maybe three. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't want to take my hunting people off the map. Okay, Zamora can go, and we'll take Driver for a walk. He can do if um, sweating out his um, alcohol thingy that he's got, his tolerance. Now, I could probably take a thrombo that's connected to, who was it? Shizuka. Okay, let's take Shizuka's Thrombo. That's going to help if they need it. Let's see. Lumi, Weeks, Costa, Kofu. Do you have a Thrombo? You do not. Oh, well, that's okay. I'll take some of the um, Stallions if that's the case. And we'll just... Um, I don't want to take all the horses because they all seem to be like pretty much pregnant at the moment. I'd rather not be slowed down with their foals. So I'll just take the other animals. All right, they can ride the donkeys, so that'll be good. And yak, more yaks. I want to normally take about 1,500 on average, but since I'm hoping to get extra materials for trading, I'm really kind of pushing for whatever I can take that's not currently pregnant, because it'd be easier if they're in the, in the base. Um, with foals and calves and stuff like that because it's just slows you down when you're traveling. I kind of want to get about 3,000 plus if I can and that's going into foal territory. I think that dromedary is also kind of low but it caps us over 3,000. That'd be good. Uh, let's see. I don't honestly know if they even eat the hay. I see this get put on here and I see it come back and if I don't take it they get pissy about it so... You know, I just shrug at that. Uh, I'm not going to take the full amount because bet you anything, they'll be like, oh, we don't have 58, but we're going to mill around because our, our caravan's not full. Even though, like, an animal goes down and they drop all their stuff and it's like, it's cool, we're going now. See you in a week. Let's take 500. It's not a lot, but I also don't want them to be carrying too much. It is summer and it'll be going into winter probably when they're coming back or just about... They might come back before then if they're quick. Um, and we'll take about 200 rice. Because I think the animals actually eat that. We don't need that many. 18. Uh, let's go with mm, 9. Probably about 1 each. And I'm not going to take any materials. But I will take silver. Just in case I encounter somebody I can trade with. Although even that, I could actually take out some of the crappier clothes. Maybe I could sell that. I'll send it as is. That'll be alright. Just quickly save that. And when their caravan heads off, I'll save it again. You damn well know I'm going to save this a million times over. Alright, let's... Uh, no, no, no. I don't want to fully uninstall it. I just want to reinstall it there. And as soon as it's moved, I'll probably... I'll see what I can do about, like, you know... Letting them get this space in, because I think it's only in here now. Yeah, shrink that. And then I'll end up making that cut off. I don't want it to be this specific shape, but what I need them to do is be able to bring this all down so that none of this is expiring outside. I can't wait until I've got... Where is it? Research. There is... It's pretty late game, I'm pretty sure. 
Let's see. Yeah, I've never got the cryo sleep caskets to work before. Um, doo -doo -doo. What the hell is this? Oh, it's all the ship stuff. No wonder why I don't know what the hell it is. Um, what? Oh, we're under siege. Okay. Uh, a group of pirates and sledgehammers have arrived and transport pods nearby. It looks like they want to besiege the colony and they'll pound you with mortars from a distance. Uh, you can try to wait them out or go get them. I didn't know you could wait them out. Great. So they're going to come in and because they're going to siege us, what they're going to do is they're probably going to build a little like space about probably here, something like that. And then they're going to just set up mortars. So they'll start like pot shotting whatever's closest. So the faster I get in here and kill them, the faster they don't get the chance to build anything. So let's, let's bring all my saves up. I've learned over time to potentially have two raid saves um, in any case, because what happens is you save it when you get notified of the raid, and then you save the second spot for when you're actually getting attacked in case shit goes wrong. So with that in mind, because I have, uh, I'm aware of that, and I realized that pretty much last week after one of the bad raids, we'll make Nito raid two. And I'll save over that when we actually like walk closer to them. In the meantime, my caravan's on uh, hiatus because I need, come on, I need everybody down here. Are they going to be about here? I don't want them to be all grouped up, but I'll do the best to like span them out as soon as I can get closer. And as soon as I can see what they are, I'm taking prisoners, by the way. I don't care. Also, that reminds me, I'm going to have to prevent... Oh, fuck, that's a lot. I'm going to have to prevent the guns from being stored in the prison. All right. You guys are a lot of people. Let's see what your bios are. Uh, depressive blood loss. You've got cooking. We've got plenty of cooks. I need people that can mine and do animals and other stuff, like crafting and stuff for once. So let's see. you got artistic. You've got chemical fascination. I don't want chemicals. Uh, that's a high social. That's like, if you guys ever watch Kung Pao, that's a lot of nuts. Um, people will get that reference. If you don't, look it up. It's worth it. Um, let's see. Melee, underground, brawler, aesthetic. Very neurotic. Hmm. Sounds delightful. I do like that he's a night owl, though. Let's see. Plants, beautiful, too smart, intellectual. Like, the neurotic part of this doesn't bother me that much. They've got mining and they've got plants and animals. So, I mean, what's neurotic do? Feels nervous about everything and has to get done. Uh, works extremely hard to attain the state of affairs, but nerves can easily get better of him. So basically, he's likely to have like a good mental break every so often. Yeah, go for it. Definitely coffee is... Uh, I had like a hella strong coffee this morning, which was a mistake because um my i have crohn's disease right which is a, a what do you call it an inflammatory bowel disease or whatever and i finally got a good night's sleep which was really great the only problem is that my crohn's decided that it didn't like my iron supplements gave me a hell of a belly ache so i woke up basically like nauseous as hell this morning and decided to have a coffee anyway that was not the best idea i don't recommend it <laughs> Um, let's see. Gusto. Great memory and kind and strong of animals. Okay, this guy in the back, I kind of want him. Psychopath, brawler. I don't greatly like the psychopaths because they'll just, they like hurting other people. Uh, let's see. You are very strong melee. Underground a brawler aesthetic. Okay, Marx is a good one. So this guy, Gus. Yeah, Gusto. I'm pretty sure it's like Gisto. Yeah, Gisto. That fucking sounds right. Marks. Those two are pretty good so far. I should keep Sleepy just for the fact that like uh, Sleepy Nick is one of my admins, and I think he'd honestly find that really funny. Um, so Sleepy, Gus, uh, Gisto, and Marks so far. Um, give me a hot second. I'm just gonna write this down because otherwise. I'm going to get into battle and I'm going to forget who it is. 
So I'm just gonna add this to my shopping list. I actually have a shopping list open and it's the easiest thing to type on at the moment. So Gisto, Marks and Sleepy so far. Uh, let's see. Uh, we don't want Travi. We've got too many bad things. I mean, they, they all have mining, don't they? When they're like, when they're a pissy option, they've got mining. What's that about? Like, like I've, I've got a lot of family up in like the Australian mines and stuff like that. And they're all great people. Unless like, I'm just delusional and we're all actually just pissy people. And I just am blind to it. I don't know. See, careful shooter underground, a great memory. You got high animals. Let's keep Cody. Okay. And let's see, Lewis. Bloodlust is not great, but your shooting's fantastic. Alright, so Lewis. Um What about Barry? Paramaniac, brawler, Selena Slothful. You don't really have any like specific negatives. Like you're slow and you're lazy. But nothing else from that's that bad. Dave's an option. Dave's a low option. We'll put him down the bottom. <laughs> He's a maybe. Uh, I think I looked at Barry. Uh, Ima? Imari? That's a pretty cool name. Purist, aesthetic. We had the same problem with her, but she's artistic. So we could get some really nice like sculptures and stuff about the base. But she can't do much. So uh, she'd be fantastic, actually. I'm going to definitely keep her if I can get her. So Imari? Uh, or... Ima, sorry. Let's see, Garrett, very neur neurotic and optimistic. Let's see, you do cooking and medical stuff. And you got really strong melee and shooting options. Um, the thing I don't like about them having both and it being equal, it's okay, is when they're extremely passionate about one thing on the map, like say they're extremely passionate about cooking, uh, you can skill them up. They love their job. You can put them in that job and it's fantastic. When you've got shooting and you've got melee and they're both extremely passionate about it. So you give them a gun to do shooting and they have a, tantru a tantrum about it being a melee person that's got a gun. You give them a melee weapon and they have a tantrum about being a melee person with a gun. So yeah, it's, it's a lose-lose. Garrett's not coming with us. Which is a shame because he was pretty, like, excited about stuff. Aesthetic and sickly. You're also artistic and mining. I could really do with a minor. So, Steve. Steve will come with us. Okay. So, we've got our list. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Potentially six people we want. Oh, I didn't even realize your name was Giggles. That's awesome. Too bad you got chemical fascination. I've already got two people with that. I'm not taking any more yet. Not for a while. Uh, yeah. Careful shooter would have been great. Look at the social on this person. Bishop. I think you're higher than, like, even my... Who was my seahorse? Shit, you're way higher. Oh, man. Could I put up with this? You're capable of dumb labor. So what do you do in the meantime when you're not doing that? You, you can do shooting? Sort of? And if there's nothing to hunt, then what are you doing? You got crafting. All right. Okay. We're going to take Bishop too. He's low on the list though. Bishop. Righto. All right. Let's get this done. I don't actually remember if I saved it so bloody long ago while I read that. Okay. Everybody just get nearby. Not actually where they are. See, so they're going to start building any moment now. So I'm going to need a good portion of you guys. Just sneak down this way. Actually, you guys come straight ahead and you guys go down. Alright, you guys are too close. You're going to get shot. Alright. They're only doing the walls just yet. We've got almost everybody out here. Alright, you guys head down there. Alright, I'm hoping... Oh, shit. They're starting to shoot at us. Alright, guys. It, it's now or never. Let's see who we can take down nearby. So, you guys aren't in range. Come on, just try. Let's see. He's in range now? Yes? Okay. 
you and I think we only have one person with that. So if I take down uh, Gisto, sweet, you guys move on in. This isn't going to go too well because I don't look like I've got that many psychic soft lan shock lances. All right, what else we got? Okay, not there yet. You guys are getting pretty hurt, so just distract them. Try not to die and distract them. Tofu, don't kill Ima. Any of you guys got this? Yes, you do. So, let's see. Uh, Cody, Lewis, Ima, Steve, Gusto. Alright, so Gusto's down. Dave was an option. Uh, Lewis is one. So let's hit you. You guys, have you got one? Yes, Ima? Knock down her real quick. And I'm running out of shock lances. Uh, I think I can get Steve and Bishop here if I'm lucky. Yeah, I've got two people with a shock lance. Uh, or do I? Uh, where are you? There's one. Okay. So you, you hit Bishop. And at this point, it's going to be lucky to see what else we get. Because I think that's using them all. Alright, we've got half down. Let's see what else we can get. Alright. Can you guys still shock lance? You can. Okay, let's hit Sleepy. Uh, who else we got? Where's Cody and Marks? We weren't taking Garrett. We are taking Marks. Uh, is Cody up here? Is Cody already down? I guess he's probably already in here, so that's fine. Get you guys up in here. Oh, I should knock down this guy. He's got, um, oh man, I don't want him, but Jesus Christ, his gun. What are you carrying? Okay, there's Cody. All right. That will be the last guy, and then you guys can shoot like crazy. So, take on him. Uh, keep firing at Orlean. If you guys have got a gun, just fire at what you can. Oh, he's sending freaking warhead thingies. Alright. I'm out of the... I'm out of the thingies. So just run in and try to attack him. Oh, man. Okay. That failed horribly. I was looking at that and I'm like, I saw the, the warhead fire and I'm like oh no oh no 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 um I think they only get a few of those before they run out so you can sometimes avoid it by like running towards them taunting them and running back all right I'm gonna need you guys to get nearby but not that close and see what we can do I'm obviously not going to be able to take that many people so I'm going to remove Bishop and Dave because they're just not they're not going to be worth the extra thing. If they happen to stay alive, fine. Um, I'll take them in then, but I'm not going to try to save them. Hey, they're doing a different layout. Alright, come on guys, stay out of the range. Alright, everybody's coming down. Also, McLean, you can hang back. I know I'll probably end up bringing him in closer. Alright, you guys are... You guys are just like starting this. Let's see what we can do. I should actually take down whoever has the big gun. You. You've got the gun. Right, does anybody else have one? Is it only one of them that I can see? Alright. They're already building that freaking mortar, so we've got to get in here. Okay, right, guys, come on. Come on, get in here. Alright. I'm hoping to maybe stop them before they build that, but I'm guessing this round's not going to involve that. Also, let's get your animals on this. And Lenora's smoke pop's not going to make a difference, honestly. Alright, there he is. You need to go down before you kill somebody. Okay, there's a chance I can do this now. This guy's on fire, legitimately. Okay, let's see. 
Take down you. Anybody in here able to do the balance thingy? Marks. Yeah, there's two people. 